Now I'm going to be explaining the Mako Mori test. So the Mako Mori test was created in response to the flaws seen in the Bechdel test. The test was actually proposed on Tumblr by Chyla. I think I'm saying that correctly, I don't know. It was created after the awesome Guillermo del Toro's 2013 Pacific Rim, when the character Mako Mori was really strong, independent, and well-developed, but the film didn't pass the Bechdel test because the woman in it didn't interact. The test looks at a film and sees that there is A, at least one named female character, who B, gets her narrative arc, that C, is not about supporting a man's story. So in this, I'm also looking at people of color, so A, at least one named person of color, who B, gets their own story, that is C, not about supporting a white person's story. This test looks at if you're having your own story and your independence, rather than like the Bechdel test, looks at relationships. I'm also going to be looking, same as the Bechdel test, at the men and white people too, versus people of color and women. I mostly think that a lot of the issues with Bechdel test and Makamori tests is that the writers just aren't that great. Oh, scared to say that opinion, but like, honestly, I think Hollywood has a big issue with like just putting out content and content and content, even though it's not necessarily good. And I think that a lot of it's because that's what worked in the past, but now that women are going to the movies more than they used to, especially since we make our own paychecks now, women are actually like 60% of the audience that goes to see movies in theaters, and I really just think that they used to cater towards men, and they still cater towards men, even though that's not necessarily content we want anymore, or need, frankly, since everything has been done already. <laughs> but that's just one little girl's opinion, me. Jordan Barger. That's me.